Hey everyone, it's Jeff. And Brittany. From Our Paradise Falls. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are celebrating eight year anniversary. So happy anniversary, Brittany. Happy anniversary. And what better way to celebrate our anniversary than at Walt Disney World? And we are going over to Epcot today. And today is the second day of Flower and Garden Festival. So we're gonna be celebrating our anniversary. We're gonna be getting our drinks on and celebrating Flower and Garden Festival. So It came through the back entrance from the boardwalk, so we're right by France and England. Brittany, what do you want to go do first? Beer. Give me a beer. <laughs> Where do you want to start first? I guess we can start in England. You've seen it this quiet inside Rose and Crown? It's been very, it's, it's, it's nice. I got a strong bow. Nice cider. I got the Leaping Leprechaun. Cheers. Cheers. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it has Jameson in it. I don't know about everything else, but cheers. cheers. Mine tastes like uh, Jameson and Sprite. Here, you want to try really? some of mine? No, yeah. I'm not in. Or like Jameson and Mountain Dew. That's delicious. It's that sweet and sour in the See, I always get a good drink, and Brittany's always like, oh, I should have got that instead. Oh, that's like really sour, though. But you're supposed to start with liquor, then beer. Yeah, but I like typically do beer, so... So you're not in the clear? find the maps it wasn't a brochure it was a map and it was at the port of entry so you actually have to go in and buy one and it was $9.99 plus tax bikes pollination exploration map you do is you go visit all of the pavilions and then they have Ooh. stickers on the back add your sticker to the circle once you find spike in the yep. gardens all of them and then you come back over to the port of entry and you collect a prize not going to show you what the surprise is you got to wait to the end of the video hopefully we'll be able to complete this and you'll be able to see what prize we pick i found britney's booth all of the creepy dolls britney the dolls will watch you as you sleep all 600 of them doesn't give you a starting point of where to go so we did come from the Canada side Brittany really wants to start in the Mexico <laughs> side Is it's that... only right to start in Mexico so you're mean... supposed to start with the tequila, tequila shots and work your way around so I think we're gonna start from Mexico and work our way around so wish us luck way to Mexico we stopped by Trell and Trellis which is hosted by Impossible we decided to get the matcha green tea which has cranberry in it Let's see how it goes oh that's good you're gonna like that what is it cranberry and vodka it and tastes lime? like lime oh wow that's decided, really good we decided to split one because it's all about pacing yourself right <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're pacing ourselves today stopped in the Mexico Pavilion and I got the poppy flower margarita. It was right up my alley. Let's take a taste. <laughs> um, oh, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Oh. What do we get for food? <laughs> 
<laughs> we got the taco vampiro and it's a beef taco actually i'm sorry it's pork taco and then jeff got the chicken enchilada let's take a taste of this taco it's really good comes with a little corn salsa too take a taste it's like sweet and spicy at the same exact time the chicken enchilada like Brittany was saying it looks like it's got some verde sauce maybe even a guacamole I'm not just gonna dive right in I'm gonna actually eat it properly with a fork I'm gonna be classy at Epcot how's that working for you maybe I should dive right in this sauce also almost tastes like kind of like a barbecue sauce which I was not expecting on enchilada it's a little cold it's got real a lot of spice to it which I like so Overall thoughts? That's good. Um, I would say like if you like barbecue chips, this would like be right. It tastes like I'm eating like a barbecue chip, like the sauce. It's okay. After a couple more sips of that poppy flower margarita, that went in the trash. It was not good at all. Yeah, Too I even flowery. had a sip. Ugh. I had a sip of it too, and I'm not a margarita guy, but just wanted to try it because you know sometimes our taste palettes are a little bit different. I like some things that Brittany doesn't like, but yeah, it was not very good so I appealing. I told Brittany I'm like go ahead you just you can toss it her taco was actually really good so hers was a lot more plain than mine but not a bad thing um you could actually enjoy like the flavor of the meat a little bit more the enchilada I just wish it wasn't caked in that sauce like I think if it just had the verde sauce it would have been a lot better we missed already missed one flower somebody was telling us in line it's actually back that way so we're gonna have to go around again or something oh, look, so. here's the tropical rainforest okay cool we found our first flower. <laughs> flower which is the purple orchid so we're gonna go ahead and stick it on there and we're good to go <laughs> butter and sugar on the inside that's so good I wish it was a little warm I think that's it's maybe throwing me off a little bit it tastes like um the cinnamon roll icing kind of and I got the famous school bread it is a pastry it has coconut icing on top and a cream filling we also have Olaf I'm gonna give that to Brittany because I don't feel like building a snowman today it's way too hot for that so cheers I got one of these in a long time. I got this when I was a kid, it's so good. I love the coconut, the cream on the inside. It's so good, amazing. Yeah, if you're in Norway, you definitely have to try this. I'm gonna head over into Germany. Yes. And I think our next flower stop is in Germany? I think so, the Garden Italiano. Oh, maybe Italy. I don't know. But, but Italian, Italy's not all the way over here, so I don't know. I love basin. What's the anniversary scent smell like? Like lavender. But they have a daisy. Oh my god, look. They have all the princesses' bath bombs. We have to go. Daisy, Cinderella, Belle. Is that the other side? Oh, Belle. And Minnie. What does mini smell like? Mm, I don't really like it. I like Cinderella. peppermint. No. No, really? I'm okay. shocked. I thought it would be like a peppermint it scent. Good, it looks like it. What does the soap smell like? I don't know if I can touch 
Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. What does it smell like? Pure oh, lavender. lavender. Yeah, no, you're not a lavender person. in Germany, of course, Jeff's favorite place, and we ended up getting a potato pancakes with their house meat applesauce. Let's take a bite. Applesauce is really, really good. Not too sweet, really good. And the potatoes are kind of like, it tastes like a hash brown, like a seasoned hash brown, really good though. I got their pretzel bread with a cheese custard, I believe, and some bacon, so cheers, here we go. Bread's really good, it's nice and warm, it's crispy. Cheese is really good too. The bacon's a little salty, but not too bad. And I also got their Hugo Brewing Ale, I believe it is. And it's from Doral, Florida, which is about an hour south of us in Miami, so cheers. Really light, really refreshing. Yeah, I mean, this is you're wearing a wine shirt and this is your first wine today, and it's crazy. It's already two o'clock. <laughs> Delicious. They're making it really difficult to find these flowers on this scavenger hunt. <laughs> we have finally made it to the Garden Italiano in Italy, and we are going to do our tomato sticker. Boom. Two down. Too many to go. I'm not sure if this is the actual place, but the girl was saying it's somewhere over here, but you know what? Hey, we're it's, gonna take it. It's, it's here. We, we want that special prize. Plus, we want to show it to you guys too. So we got to get all these flowers done. We stopped over at the American Pavilion, and there is a specialty drink that I always like to get from here. It is a Tennessee lemonade, and it's got Jack Daniels in it, and it's lemonade, and it's delicious. Cheers, everybody. So if you're a fan of JD and lemonade, I highly recommend this drink. It's extremely refreshing, especially on a hot day like today.